Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. It's Sunday, August 11th, 2024. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that, somewhere in the world, makes me Carmen San Diego. No, it makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the very podcast of Ben Determined Length, episode number 750. Wait in the world is Gary at <laughs> was a good, was a good impromptu. Yeah, look at you. And look at this. We're Looking all wearing different shirts. <gasps> there is oh, no crossover. different eras. Yes. Right. We got our, our season two. We've got our uh, another sticky hairs, our cookie, and we got one of our most recent shirts. Whatever the bears say these days. Now oh, here we are. Hey, it's as uh, they say in the the theme song to uh, Star Trek Enterprise. We can't hear uh, you. Yeah, it's been a long road. As they say, in... <laughs> I, I, I stopped sharing and then I forgot to unmute my mic. <laughs> it's, kind of technical things. <laughs> it's weird. It's been a long it's so getting weird. from here to there, there to here. Something like that. Whatever it is. I don't remember the full details. All I know is it's been a long road is the first words. Mm-hmm. The only Star Trek uh, theme which actually has lyrics during the show because the original star trek theme actually has lyrics they just didn't play it during the show correct and none of the other ones as far as i'm aware of have lyrics but I, I, I don't yeah i don't know some there might be some lyrics that that just are unknown or unofficial. Yeah, and somebody right. probably put lyrics to some of those songs. Yeah. Not quite a rule of 34, but still. Yeah. Anyways, here we are. Yeah. It's been a long time. Gary, yeah. mm-hmm, don't you mm-hmm. think so? Uh, yes. I mean, it is a podcast milestone. Woo. It's a little wild to me as I sit here and reflect on it, because I haven't been around since the very beginning. I mean, the producer has, but, um, yeah, like I, like I think back, I'm like, I've been around for how many episodes I've been around for at least two thirds. I want to say, if I recall correctly, um, quick math, hang on. Cause I didn't prepare this part. Oops. I'm also not at my home computer. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. Um, but for, if you didn't hear the initial like talk of this, this is our seven hundred seven hundred and fiftieth episode. Three quarters to a thousand. Yep. Three quarters. As far to as thousand. I'm aware of, we may be the only bear podcast that has reached seven hundred and fifty episodes. Hmm. I believe that's correct. Yeah. Um. <sighs> we have persevered. <sighs> we have not gotten tired of doing it. 
I haven't because it allows me to be social once a week with people. Yeah, I uh, I had to remember what my ep- original episode was. My original episode was 195. Oh. So I've been around for 555 episodes. So that's, that's definitely over two-thirds. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a third would be 250. Mm-hmm. Two of those would be 500. And you'd say over 500. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, way to go, guys. We made it this far. <laughs> I've been here for 750 episodes. Yeah, I was going to say, has there yeah. is there a single well, episode, Jeff? You There's mm-hmm. one. Oh, wait. No, there is one. Yeah. There's only one. Jeff, Jeff there is one episode. At least I know one. Because okay. Damon and I did it. Yeah. I that was, was recently, I... too. Like, in the past year or two. Well, it's been, I think it's been a little while since then. But there was an episode that we had to, that we had to do. I think you were, I think you had, was it COVID? Was that a COVID? Was it? Yeah, it was probably during during COVID. And I was just like knocked on my ass by COVID. Research. Go back. Please hold. Yeah, I think Gary's doing research. research? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is hard. <laughs> I'm trying Talking to remember hard. what episode that was, though. Yeah. Uh, it needs to be. Hang on. Hang record. on. Uh-huh. I think I remember. No. Okay. So it wasn't in that year. Let's go back a year. Oh, you're looking at the. You're looking at the. the, the I'm looking the at the matrix because I didn't write it on there. Damon, was that the bathhouse episode? Where we t- where I told the horror story? Ooh, maybe. That sounds I think familiar. That's it. I think that's it because because Jeff knew nothing about it because he wasn't there, and I and I remember you being really shocked about it. And I but now I can't remember what the topic was because I'm just trying to I'm trying to my my search foo is failing me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go. It, was it four four eleven? No, it would have been no. sooner. This is so stimulating to everybody to like watch Hi, everybody. Posts, try to figure out what the hell we're doing. Right. Uh five oh one LTAS bathhouse etiquette was with Daddy Hadrian. I'm assuming I was on that one. Yeah, you were. March third, twenty twenty of the return of bathhouses. Probably not. Hard to tell. Hmm. We'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, I'm... Hold on. Let's just, I'm going to look that one up. Hold on. I'll know it because I will remember the, I remember, um, because I probably, we probably put it in the description. So it wasn't that one. It wasn't the bathhouse one. I just remember oh. that I read the, I talked about. Oh, the it was short one of the one, I know it was. Oh, that's wrong. It was one we talked. I know it was a food one. A food it was a one. Food, maybe. I feel like it was. I'm so. Hey, everybody. This is. I know this is weird, but we're we're just trying to. We're we're very concerned. <laughs> Not concerned. We're just curious. <laughs> It's so sad. We've done so many episodes. We can't remember which one is the one that Jeff missed. And there's only been one that he's missed. Yeah, I have an idea. I'm actually searching our website, which is wild. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can help narrow down the date. I'm, I'm typing in keywords and... Because I remember distinctly oh, talking. I found it. I found it. It was 664. Okay. Let's talk about food 2022 fair foods. It was in this episode of Cubs Out Loud. It's time to another. Um, let's talk about food. While Gar- while Jeff is feeling ill, Damon and Gary take the wheels of the Cubs travel the nation for some fa- new fair foods. I re- I knew it was food related. I, I knew it was food. I had because it was. Yeah. Then what am I remembering then? 
I don't I don't know. Um Was I out for two of them? I just I, I just knew that one. Six sixty four. Excuse me. Six sixty four. Six sixty four. Might have been two six six four. Because I feel like okay. Yeah, because I it was I was feeling awful. Okay, because that's the one that was September. That was in 2022, right? That so, episode. oh, that's right. Because I got COVID after the return to office. Yeah, yeah. And I, I... remember it because it was just you and me talking about the foods. Because okay. I'm going to go search on this oh. one because I think I found the episode that I'm thinking of. And now I'm curious on whether or not Jeff was there because I don't remember Jeff being there for this episode. Mm. Nope. Wrong number. Yeah, it was September 2022. <laughs> yes. Oh, help if I type the number right. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. You missed 622. Let's talk about sex horror stories. No, and this episode, episode of Cubs Out Loud, it's another installment of Let's Talk About Sex. This time around, the Cubs, sans Jeff, get into the spooky season with some sex horror stories. From ba- from bathrooms to bathhouses, the guys share their bad hookups while also giving advice on safer consensual practices to hopefully soften the blow of your next sex slip up. That's a da- that's a David written synopsis. <laughs> because I remember yeah. that it was just the two of us, Damon. I remember it was you and me, and I told you this story about the worst bathhouse experience I ever had, and you were just like <laughs> in absolute like abject terror listening to me tell this story. Oh. Gosh. And then later in another episode, I went back and referenced the art. I found an online blog type article about said bathhouse. Right. I remember that. Anyways. Good times. So actually, Jeff, you're at 748. You got to you got to catch up. Somehow. I got two more. I didn't realize that you had missed two. We're making like news as we're doing this because I thought anyways. Well, technically, it wasn't news. We just didn't realize it. Statistically speaking, but we do have other statistics. We yep, do. We do. We do. Yeah. I crunched some numbers. Um, it's been 16 years. Woo. Look at us. We can drive now. Um, <laughs> and stick shifts at that. Uh, so in the 16 years, <laughs> we've done 22 flashback episodes. Which isn't too bad. So for those that don't know, flashbacks are prior episodes that we've done that re re air. And it's usually because most or all of us are not available. Yeah. <laughs> and we know about this in advance. So we do mm-hmm. we do a, a kind of a, a retro thing. Flashback, flashback, flashback. Usually they're planned. Yeah. yeah. I know that they're not they're not like sometimes that plan is the day before, but <laughs> <laughs> That, that didn't happen that often. No, 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 it doesn't no, happen that often. That's true. That's um, that's really good. Uh, Landscape of Relationships, which is a series we started uh, a few years ago. We've actually had 32 episodes. Ooh. So that is our, that's in one view, that's almost a top contender for longest running series. Okay. It, it depends on how you look at it. Okay. Now, now let's talk about... And if you don't finish that, all of those together make up 106 episodes. Ah. So, like, a seventh of our entire history is let's talk about something. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Nine of them do not fall into the main three subseries. Right. And that's kind of a newer thing where we're just talking about a specific topic and it is not food. It is not kink and it is not sex. Although it could be that those could be referenced depending on the topic. That's very true. True. Um, we <laughs> not, not we have done. Necessarily. Yeah, we have done 23 episodes of let's talk about food, which we started in June of 2020 in the pandemic. Wow. We were, uh, we were let's a talk little about, hungry. And what else were we about... going to do but cook? 
Well, except for David. <laughs> David was just eating whatever his husband was cooking. I Not can't husband cook, at bitch. <laughs> you just don't like cook. to when you have a I husband that'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook. I have cooked. I just don't always have to. Oh, he cooks. He just doesn't cook in the kitchen. Anyways. Girl. Um, <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Damon. Can you please flash the pack fan? Thank there we you. go. There we go. Yep. It's it was like I need another fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Kink series. It has 22 episodes, and we started that in November of 2014. So we're coming ah. up with 10 years. And then the <laughs> oldest of the bunch is the Let's Talk About Sex series, with 47 episodes, and it started in March of 2014. So depending on how you want to slice the pie, you could say that the Let's Talk About Sex series has the most episodes right? out of any focus kind of grouping. And then Landscaper oh. Relationship comes in second. Right. At 32. And we're and still knows, doing all of them. So. It might be creeping up on LTAS. Yeah. It, it could very well. Because we don't uh, do LTAS that often anymore. That. Well, I mean, once you kind of do the whole Kama Sutra, what is left? I mean, you know. <laughs> we yeah. haven't talked about that, have we? The Kama Sutra? No, no, I don't think we've done that as a show. No, I don't. We think gotta so. find somebody. We gotta find somebody who knows about the Kama Sutra and have them on as a guest. Mm. Or we could just talk about the Kama Sutra and then we could <laughs> go through all the different poses or <laughs> figure out which ones we think we break our back on. Wow. Create, create a mean, slideshow and, and maybe like do a presentation. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> so alongside all of those, um, in March of 2015, Damon and I started a little side adventure. Yeah. Um, because we're fans of RuPaul's Drag Race. Sorry. I was I was debating on whether or not fans was the right word these days. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, if you've listened to the series, for those that have, they probably know that we're a bit critical now compared to what we were when we started in March of 2015. Listen, I'm in LA. I don't have my shade fan, you bitches. That's not fair. <laughs> well, I'm I'm making it up. I'm making up for lost shade. That's true. There we That's go. Very true. Um, but yeah, like when we started in March of 2015, I think we were very enthusiastic. We were also nine years ago younger. Like we were like, yeah. we were like, we love this show. Like, why don't why don't we like you know do a, a discussion slash recap thing? And and the show has changed over the years because way back in the original years. We're doing every episode. We did every episode and we recapped like what happened in the episode. Like we talked uh, about everything. And then yeah. we got wise to that. And we were like, there's a lot of people that do that. We don't need we don't to do need that. that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to do that. We don't need to do all need that. that. So, that. so then we Some people would to... say you got lazier, but that's okay. I mean, lazier, smarter, whichever one you want to choose. Like, uh, some might say efficient and with the time. So we, so then we, then we moved the model to talking about what we liked about the show and areas of opportunity as one might say. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and then, and then we just like, we're like, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. So, well, <laughs> we've, been, we've two modified three. almost every two episodes. And that's yeah. working for us. And the thing is, because, well, because Drag Race changed and now it's like half a fucking goddamn year long, like, and doing a podcast every single week, you know, for roughly 50 weeks a year is a bunch of time and effort. And I'm not complaining. I'm just letting the listeners know that's a lot of effort. And then Damon and I were doing a whole second one on top mm -hmm. of that. And if you're doing half it for six, year. yeah, for like six months, it's mean two shows a week. For six months and, and it, i have to edit time. those things every time they come up with them i'm like oh right. no yeah. i'm not another drag race show ah. yeah, sticking okay. away from my game time suck it up baby Aww. so oh <laughs> imagine that an editor whining about their job so <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Anywho, so, with that so being we, said. So we've modified. But that being said, we've done 167 episodes. Yeah. In nine years. Yeah. Look at that. So uh, uh, you're missing a, a little more. statistic. Um, we only mm. had somebody else doing your your teaser for a good chunk oh. of that, but then it just switched over recently. That part. Well, she got expensive or didn't <laughs> renew the contract. I don't know what yeah. happened, but I don't think the contract got renewed. I think that's the better way to put it. And yeah. She was yeah. just complaining every time a new show came out. She's like, we, How we, many of we these shows are the... happening? We, as the people who are making the show, went into contract negotiations with the person that was doing it, and they kind of fell through. And I mean, it's it's unfortunate, you know, but things sometimes happen. You know, some people want, like, more time, screen time. Some people want, you know, more money. Sometimes you just don't, those, you just can't, you just can't get eye to eye. You just can't meet eye they to eye. They want more recognition. Eye to eyelash. It's such yeah. a bitch. She was. She totally was. But you know totally what? We wish her the best. Hmm? Yes, we wish her the best. Yes, her the best. Mm-hmm. I had to work Besides, with her more. Besides, you might see her on a future episode of COLDR. Or not COLDR. On RPRDR. RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> RPDR. 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 Oh, yeah. she, she might have gotten tired of all of that. Uh, oh, so she, she freeze me Jenkins did. I got it. She, just, <laughs> she decided to just re- flat out retire. Wow. Or in Fifi. Anyways. Jeremy. So that was Anyways. a little thing that we did on the side. So, uh, yeah. So in addition to these 750, we have another 167 out there of a whole other thing. Um, mm-hmm. And some other stuff that I couldn't find numbers on. But, um, you know. So, yes. Um, so it's been 16 years and seven months. Since January 17th of 2008, when Jeff launched this crazy circus um we've had 10 very fun co-hosts 87 different unique guests wow and we've had 309 episodes with guests out of our 750 wow Mm -hmm. and the most recurring guest host to date has been Just jump. Oh, okay. I don't know if you do or not. That's what I thought you were reaching for. And then I realized you were just actually doing it on your desk. <laughs> on. Hold on, hold on. Just madly looking through the sound uh, board. And it's, uh, hold on. There we go. There we go. I, I, I did. I wasn't sharing it. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Doctor Edward Angelini Cook. Woo! He's been on for thirty-seven episodes. I'm assuming all of which. Well, most of them were landscape relationships. Most. I know not all of them. Right. Because we've only had thirty-two mm-hmm. landscape of relationships, and honestly, I had to double check the numbers because I was like, no, it's always on for landscape. And then I had to go back and be like, oh, right, we've had him on more <laughs> for other things, yeah. <laughs> not just landscape. So, yes. Yes, yes, we have. And um, we got to see his, per, his uh, progression from pre doctorate to post doctorate. Yes, we did. We did. He's one mm-hmm. of two doctors we've had on the show. Yeah. That's true. Graduated with a PhD. Um, hey, Dr. Cisco. Hi. <laughs> On YouTube, I thought this was interesting. I took a little walk over there. Our channel has had over 97,000 views. Wow. It was launched in January 31st of 2009. Now, for those that don't know the history, um, we did not use YouTube for many years. Like, we uh-huh. had it, and there was just a couple random photos that were posted on there. And we did, like, one or two live streamy type things. And then platforms changed, technology changed, and... Um, we had to pivot, and so we started just going straight to YouTube, and that's how we do it now, so that it goes live to YouTube, and then we pull it down for the audio stream mm-hmm. that we put out through our podcast feeds. Um, so in the time that we've been on YouTube, we've posted 612 videos, 
three hundred and fifty one of them have been live streams. Ah. And our YouTube audience age breaks down the following. I was not ready for this. I was not either. I know. 18 to 24-year-olds make up 12.6%. 25 to 34-year-olds make up 21.5%. 35 to 44-year-olds make up 9.3%. 45 to 54 make up 84 55 to 64 makes up 15.8. Uh-huh. And coming in as the last category, 65 and above make up the lion's share at 32.5%. Wow. We appreciate everybody of all ages. We yeah. do. But well, I was not we prepared. Love our daddies. To, right, 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 right. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh, Our daddy's so love a show called Cubs Out Loud that has aging cubs on it. <laughs> Hi, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> David's loving this statistic. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for me. watching the show. That was all of you, all of yeah. our fans. I was not ready for that. So yeah, um, nearly half. So what, 48.3% of our audience is 55 and above on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And the ah. second largest though of the groupings you had was 25 to 34. So we, we've got kind of a balance there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's So we've got cubs in the making and yes. bears that like cubs. There we go. Right. That's the way to put it. Yeah, because um, <laughs> 34.1% are 18 to 34. And then, like, you know, over half is, uh, or nearly half is 555 and above. So, yeah. Ah. Found that interesting. Um, interesting. Speaking of a YouTube, the highest videos viewed to date, no one is surprised necessarily. Episode 565, let's talk about sex, glory hole safety. And then number 280. See you all 280. Let's talk about sex. I see. I I, I I sense a theme. I see you out there, audience. <laughs> um, was digital release. And this used to be the highest like uh, viewed video. COL 233 depends on the sausage you eat. And this was in the era where episodes had titles and you had to like figure out how the hell the title got created <laughs> because it was a random thing that happened in the episode. It wasn't necessarily right. like you, we went in with a theme or a concept. Yeah. It was meant to be more of a, a funny title versus it was a flat out. And, this is the topic. And who was our guest on depends on the sausage you eat? Um, Adrian. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Adrian, I was about to do a, no need to hesitate. Uh, a wonder thing, but then then Damon just no. pointed it out. No need to hesitate. David Fine. doesn't have any patience. <laughs> <laughs> we should, we should, now that we now that. that now that David knows that daddies are watching, <laughs> like, listening on YouTube, he's going to be insufferable. Like he's, like <laughs> he's going to be like, I have I have my home. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Hadrian was on that particular episode. Um, in a pivot to our website, I found this interesting. I decided to fall down a rabbit hole over there. So for those that don't know, every single episode for years and years and years, like I don't even know how far back this goes. Our resident scribe has been Damon. So we create a, a cloud document. And we write an outline on it and we put a bunch of stuff in. Um, and actually, that is thanks to Eric, our previous co host. Many years uh-huh. ago, he came up with the idea of the template to try to give us some organizing. And in the midst of that, we do keywords or tags. And these are things that get mentioned in the show. And so if you go to cubsoutloud.com, you can literally type in a word and see how many episodes that came up as a topic or like got mentioned in conversation. So because of that, I decided to go looking at some frequent words that like I notice that can be repeated. And the downside is I don't think there's a way to search 
at least I let, and Jeff might know something analytically maybe that I didn't think of from inside the website, but I was doing it from outside. So anyways, I found out that the word bear has been used 65 times. Cubs has only been 15. Mm. Gay yeah. has been 27. So we say gay more than we say cubs. Just saying. <laughs> Um, kink was 46. Mm. So apparently that's very popular. Uh, oh, and then I was really amused and I, this must've been in a tag, a group of tags that I saw something else. So we've used, we've referenced spit four times <laughs> and we've referenced swallow six times. So apparently we swallow more than we spit. Just say I'm gonna throw those in the tags right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Urban Dictionary, which is a thing oh. it with more frequency, but we haven't done in quite a while, um, has come up 46 times. Look at that. So there was a time when we were educating our our audience, where mm-hmm. I would have a brief segment and talk about a term that was on urban dictionary although i don't think urban dictionary is as popular as it used to be not i don't think as much i will say so for those wondering why isn't cub used so often well i can tell you why it's in our name so um i don't put it i don't often put it as a tag um right and but i because i literally use it it's in our name i often use it in the synopsis so it just there's there's not really a reason to keep using that word as like a tag or a keyword because right. if you if you typed in cubs every episode right more than likely yeah very true just saying anyway that's being that's looking at the tag cloud that we have in our sidebar the largest okay. word or tag is C O L D R. Followed closely by drag race and wow. <laughs> well, Work to be fair, there. we've yeah. we've done 167 episodes of drag race, so every single one of those episodes probably got posted with C O L D R D R and mm-hmm. drag race, drag queen. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, so. That's probably why. I love that drama's over here in the Thai cloud. That's kind of funny. <laughs> drama. It's small, but it's there. Yeah. Adrian is huh. on the larger side. It's Hadrian and Leather right next to each other. Mm. Well, mine says Growler, Hadrian, Heather Live. Sorry, let, <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> Growler, Hadrian, Leather, Live. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a warm up. Yeah, it's all an exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, in addition to that, over the years, uh, we haven't done it in quite a while. We created a recognition of folks, and we created on the website. We have a CAL pedestal. So this was a shout out to people who we wanted to give some recognition to because they were extra cute. Um, they've been guests on the show. We uh, recognize them and their contributions. And then we've had 15 of them. In fact, one of them became a co-host for a while. Mm-hmm. So um, Dr. Edward Angelini Cook is still listed as the yeah. current pedestal. Although in a way, I just realized that's fair because he's technically the most highest ranked guest. Aha. Uh-huh. I'm just looking back at this. I'm like, wow, there's quite a few pedestals here. Mm-hmm. Memories. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ed. That's fine. Anyway. Um, and all of this is to say we couldn't have continued on for the most recent years without giving thanks to our patrons. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, for many years, for those that don't know, Jeff was not only the creator, inventor, like producer of the show, he also carried um, like 
the brunt of everything for many years. And by many years, I mean he was financially responsible for the show mm-hmm. um, and its inception from the very beginning. So every couple of years around March, <laughs> we would hear about how the domain and everything was due. And um, so we had kind of toyed around with the idea for a while to um, try doing Patreon. So Mm -hmm. we launched in March of 2018. And since then, over the past, what, six years, right? Yeah, March. Yeah. Yeah. Six Six full full years, almost six and a half years. The patrons have made it possible for um, us to be able to pay for the domain and the hosting and some of those fees over the years. Um, It's paid for some other items, like some of the um, imaging stuff that we utilize from a certain site. It's about equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, and you wouldn't be able to see me right now. <laughs> that was so funny in our history, David. Yeah. You, like, I remember when you got a ring light and I think you upgraded to like a better camera and you made a comment about, you were like, how did you ever see me before? <laughs> we like, well, I saw you like, yeah. Yeah. And in high definition. Yeah. But yeah, there probably is some point. I switched from camera sometime and you'll see the difference. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, it, it needless to say, the, the patrons have really like, you know, been highly beneficial and we're very appreciative to them. And if you're not familiar, we'll do the pitch now. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. For a dollar or more a month, you can be a patron to us. Um, there are three levels. You can be a Cubster, an Uber, or a Buddy. Um, and you get uh, different rewards for those things. We're about to send rewards out soon. Um, I sent messages to our Cubs, or to our patrons and we're like, hey, just make sure that you confirm your address because you're going get, to be getting some stuff. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um mm-hmm. In fact, right before I left for here, something I ordered showed up uh, from Zazzle, which I was pleased about, although also kind of dismayed because I intentionally chose a late delivery date, like after I get back from this week. And it came right before I left. And then supposedly tomorrow an item is showing up, but I'm not going to be there. Um, so I'm just gonna get it held. It's not a big deal. It, it's not a high cost thing, but I was just like, really? Like, if I chose, you know, like, I don't know, the 18th through the 20th, like, I would expect it to come around those dates, not a week early. Oh, so sometimes they don't care. I'm just gonna... I know. I think they always are like, well, look, like, well, how nice we're being to you. Like, we're we're over delivering and under promising. And I'm like, and I am not home. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. Um, but yeah. Uh but so that being said, uh, the patrons will be seeing some things coming soon. Uh, and I also want them to get the recognition. So at the Cubster level, we have Charles W. and Michael K. At the Uber level, we have Dave T. Lee and Michael Q. And we also have our buddies Lloyd G. and Michael V. Um, so y'all are going to be getting some things um, here in the near future. Uh, I'm kind of excited about it like i said we have new items we have new designs that we put out um for stuff so and if you think of anything that you would like to see let us know because there's a lot of like different items that you can choose to put logos and things on we haven't we we don't choose everything that's in the the catalog quote unquote Um, but they do have new things that come out and besides like some things are just like i mean there's a part of me that's like i think that could be fun or it's cute or whatever, but I'm like, who really wants that? <laughs> and some stuff's downright expensive. That too. That's like, there's some technology things we could put our logo on. I'm like, really, is someone going to pay $80 for something or whatever? Like, it's just... <laughs> it's kind of... You never know. That's true. You never know. But yeah, so thank you, patrons, for um, your support over the years. Uh, yes, thank it's you. It's been very beneficial and helpful in that effort. Anything else, gentlemen, as we're kind of moving to wrapping up our anniversary show? I can think of. I just can't believe I've been doing this for that this long. Yeah. 
I was going to say, I guess we should thank Jeff for what? getting this on the go. Getting Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help but be a dick about it. I was just like, like really? Do we have to? No, no, no. Well, Absolutely, I, I would like to thank Damon uh, for getting Gary onto the podcast. That's true. That is true. All those years ago. It was a, I think it was an ask to do something about drenched fur okay. that um, uh, joint came became a sort of test. <laughs> it was. Um, I remember that you guys had put out a call. You said you were looking for co-hosts. And what's wild for those that that have not been around since I joined over five hundred episodes ago, um, when I came on, you already had a full complement. Because it was the two of you and I think four others, three others. Maybe. So no, I think it was only two others. I yeah, yeah. It was the three. It was the four of us, and then you, and then it was four of us again because somebody left, and then, um, then we added another, and then it was the five of us, and then two left. And then it was the three of us for a little while, then we added another. And then <laughs> it's like Dusty Shout, there's people that just bump just the- <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking of that meme with the woman with the with the algebra imposed over her head oh, where she's trying oh. to do the mouth. Oh yeah, no, like, no, no, and then no. you carry the one, you minus the three, and you do yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Or glue. Yeah, and, and one plus two plus four plus two. Yeah. One plus two plus one plus one. But yeah, no, um, what had happened was you guys had a whole bunch of kind of hosts. I say a whole bunch. Because when I joined, I was like, I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because there was a lot of personality and a lot of voices. Like, And to try to do a, an hour-ish show every week. Like if everybody spoke... Everybody only got like X amount of minutes. If 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 the idea was to give everybody equal airtime, and there was no managing of that, it was just a free form conversation. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah. Uh, so. And here we are. And I, yes. I I think I think we ended up settling with the nice group of three, two talkers, and one who kind of talks on occasion and makes puns on left and right and it's the one that actually streams the podcast and records it and edits, edits <laughs> it and manages the website but then somebody else takes care of taking care of the topics and scheduling the guests and doing the artwork and then we have somebody who just comes on the show and does tags and synopses listen as the person who has had to fill in for the missing one who does the tags and the, and the scribe, like, synopses, this shit's hard, for the record. I like, you think I, I pass it off to other people. Because <laughs> <laughs> having to do it, well, honestly, so where my beef is, when I've done it and complained most about it, it's because I forgot to do it. And the we reason why I say, I, right, Damon knows what I mean. So when Damon does it, Damon does it live when we're together. And he like, so he has multiple copies of the document up and he's like scribing, which is the best way to do it because then it's done and it's over with. And then when he writes this, the synopsis, like it's kind of fresh. Um, I have forgotten to write the tags and had to go back a handful of times and re-listen to the whole damn episode over again to get the tags. <laughs> That's tedious. Um and then try to write the synopsis. There's one or two times that I like, I don't know, it was late. I was tired or whatever. And I waited at least a day or two and then went back to do that. And that's even more painful. Yeah. I have just, to do it when it's fresh. I'm just, gonna, right. I'm going to own it. Even if it, even if it, it, it takes me a while, um, which it sometimes does. Cause I just, I, I will own it. I have to give me, give myself a little bit of like separation. Mm-hmm. Um, but it it can it it's always good to do it fresh 
when it's still in the head because trying to go back later and write something when it's still not in your when it's not in your head and not act like like yeah it becomes hard it's so hard it's when, so hard during the first generation i actually had the teaser wasn't me spouting off the synopsis it was previously it comes out loud yeah <laughs> yeah and i edited eclipse to try to make everything out of context and funny yes i'm going to go into the theme song um, That's so right. I had to listen to the entire podcast and try to like cut out clips of like the, of the show. So now you know why we don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and we are not calling it laziness. We are calling it efficiency. We are calling it like it helps the show get like it. It helps us get to where we are. We are at 750 episodes, damn it. And we did that through, you know, <laughs> determination and getting it done. We're no a time what. steady man. And a time yes. steady man can't waste time. For a time steady man to waste time, it's a crime. Uh huh. If anybody know knows that musical. Wait. Musical? That's from a musical. The movie version starred Doris Day. You're gonna oh, I got oh, nothing. I mean, like I also had a song called I'm, Seven and a Half Cents. It does buy a heck of a lot. Seven and a half cents. Does I'm a thing. little you give it to me every hour, forty hours every week, and that's enough for me to be living like a king. Did you know? Sorry. I am just a little theater gay. <laughs> Damon is is the theater gay, so I'm like I'm stumped. I got nothing. Okay, it's not that. It's not merely we roll along. No, 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 no. It is an older musical, obviously, because the movie version started right. Doris Day. Right, right. Uh, what were other songs from there? It's not. Um, it's not. It's not a. a hurry it's not up, Rodgers and Hammerstein. Hurry up. No. Nope. No, 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 can't no, no. waste time. Hurry up, can't waste time. When I'm racing with the clock. Because the thought, I'm racing the, the, with the, the one clock. that came. The second I can understand through the back break, break and the singer shake. The Constitution isn't wow. made of rock. It's a losing race when you're racing with the okay. racing, racing, racing with the clock. Shh. I sang that in high school. Oh, God. Oh, my God. David, you're going to be so mad when you figure out what show it is. Hmm. It's not. It's not how to succeed in business without really trying. That's not it. No, that's too late. Okay. That's so, fine. Damon, when you go to bed tonight, no, this is probably not, not a good wear. <laughs> Let me finish. What are you not going to wear? <laughs> okay, I, I had. I was. I was close. And I, it, it didn't come to me until now. It's the pajama game. Now, that was I was I was thinking with that one, but I wasn't wearing it sure. And it has been decades. No, yeah, since I've seen that. Because that was I saw that in. I see that in co not college. I see that in high school. High school. I was in the pajama game. And in in high school in my in the ninth grade it's the best shape i've ever been in i mean no, the film I, is from 1957 it must, i must have seen no! it in high school. the release date was august 29 1957 august 29th is a good day it's almost like it's somebody's birthday. Something like that. Mm. I didn't even realize the release date was that. Yeah, so, you. it's a musical based on a 1953 novel named Seven and a Half Cents. Ah. Hence the song. Seven and a half cents. Because it references the title. 
The original Broadway production premiered in May 13th of 54 at the St. James Theater and ran for 1,063 performances. With a brief stop at the Schubert Theater at the end of its run, revived again in 73 and in 2006. Mm. Seven and a half cents does buy a heck of a lot. Seven and a half cents doesn't mean a thing. But give it to me every hour, 40 hours every week, and that's enough for me to be living like a king. I figured it out. He figured it out. I figured it out. Well, with that being said, let's, I think we can end the show. Okay. Right? Right? If you, in, you insist. I was just thinking about how today's younger generation wouldn't understand that song at all because they'd be like, what in the hell? Well, seven and a half cents doesn't seem like a heck of a lot. Oh God! It's it's the whole historical economy of scale thing. I think that they would be puzzled by. But here we are. In any case, guess what, folks? That's the end. Seven hundred and fifty episodes down. Can we do another seven hundred and fifty? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out. <laughs> Gary Thaj just went so we'll meet wide. you at, at episode 1500 <laughs> don't don't do the math Gary don't do the math you don't want to do the math you don't want to find out no no, no. <laughs> don't do it girl don't do it I'm not gonna do it more <laughs> David's like, I'm going to cut you off. I ain't doing it. In any case, you can pop over to our website, comesoutloud.com, shoot us an email, comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 361-SEAL-TALK, that's 361-265-8255. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Comes Out Loud, the appropriate place of the URL. You can join our entourage chat at bit.ly slash telegram dash col. Uh, find out when we're planning and recording these shows by checking our Google Calendar at bit.ly slash calendar dash col. You have various accoutrements such as a now we're sticky here's here's your cookie shirt, or a Cubs Out Loud version 2.0 shirt, or a hat, or whatever the says blank <laughs> fill in the blank uh, shirt, which is part of our newest lines. Uh, check that out over at Zazzle, zazzle.com slash comes out loud. Some of the designs were designed by Smash. You can find more of this work at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash comes out loud or send us a donation. I could actually use a new mic. This is like, I got this before our first podcast episode. Are you saying you want to retire it? I think it might be. I mean, it has lasted 750 episodes. Yeah. Well, I didn't use it for all those, but, you know. In any case, um, you, can, uh, you can send us a donation at people that means slash comes out loud. Please pop over to your favorite podcasting platform and rate us, review us, like us, whatever it is over on those sites, because the more you do that, the more people will find us. and We'd appreciate that. Uh, you can find me anywhere on the internet as box at box, puppy, box, cub, box, cubby, box, something or other. David. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at theatercub 79 That's T H E A T R E C U B 79. Our most favorite related sites are on Facebook. You can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. Our pup umbra 79 on Blue Sky. Those are not safe for work. For the safe work stuff, you want to go to DMA Gamer 79 on TikTok or Twitter. Gary? If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. I mean that. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all. Happy to my new city,